What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. Now you will often hear the sage advice that nothing good happens quickly in a reef tank, but there are some corals that buck that trend and will grow very fast indeed. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the fastest growing soft corals to fill your tank out quickly. Now, if this is your first time at the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get to the list. Number five on my list of fast growing corals is green star polyps, named by someone presumably who's never seen a star in his life. GSP though is an absolute staple for beginners. It's dead easy to keep, gives gentle movement in flow and turns a stunning bright green under blue LED lights. It forms a mat that spreads over the rockwork and is a great candidate to cover the back wall or weir box of your tank. It also doesn't seem to mind stronger light and flow than many other soft corals. And one of the reasons it's great for beginners is that it will tolerate higher nutrients that you often inadvertently get as a new reefer, or if and when you let your maintenance slip for a few months. Next up are Discosoma mushrooms, and if hardiness is your sole criteria, look no further. They'll survive through more or less any newbie mistake you can throw at them, and will be happy as Larry in tanks with higher nitrate and phosphate. Low light and flow is the order of the day with mushies, so you don't need to spend a fortune on multiple LEDs or power heads to keep them happy. And because they spread quickly, it's an easy coral to have success with when you're new to the hobby. One thing to look out for with mushies is that they can detach from their rock and float over to neighbouring islands, so it can be difficult to isolate them and you might find they start to overrun your tank in the longer term, which can be undesirable, particularly if you choose some of the more plain looking varieties. Number three on my list of fast growing corals is zoas. And if this was a list of the awesomest soft corals, these guys would be top of the pile. They come in endless varieties of color and look equally arousing under white lights during the day or blue lights in the evening. They're fairly tolerant of varying water quality, although not as much as some of the other corals on this list. And it's not uncommon to see smaller frags melt away for no apparent reason. Welcome to the world of reef keeping. I've always found they prefer medium rather than low light, and a good sign that your zoas need stronger light is if you find them stretching so far away from their base that you start losing your clownfish in them. Although that's not always the case, some varieties do just seem to have naturally longer stems. Now not all zoas will spread quickly, but when they do, they can easily take over your rock work in short order. So it's a good coral to isolate, particularly if you can get yourself a little zoa rock like this bad boy. Next up is clove polyps, which are a beautiful beginner-friendly coral. They tick the boxes of wavy movement and pretty tips, and are another coral that look fantastic under blue LED lights. As with zoas, not all clove polyps will spread quickly, but some, in particular the shorter tentacled varieties, can end up all over your rockwork like a cheap suit. So give careful thought to placement, as they can be difficult to remove from your tank once they've taken hold. They're another coral that's not as fussy about pristine water quality, and again will appreciate lower light and flow. Now as with all corals on this list, you may hear some people refer to clove polyps as a weed. But a weed is just a coral somewhere it's not wanted, so if you like the look of it, don't be put off by what clove polyp skeptics on Facebook might think. Just make sure you do your research first, so you know what you're getting yourself into. And the number one coral on my list of fast growing softies is Pulsing Xenia. In my humble opinion, this is the coolest and most mesmerizing coral in the hobby. And if you want to cover a rock in coral in no time at all, Xenia is about as good as it gets. As a general rule, Xenia will be happy in lower light and flow, and its heads will pulse under their own steam without assistance from your power heads. You'll often hear that they like dirty or high nutrient water, but they can thrive in a variety of conditions. Xenia grows by spreading onto your rock work, but it can also detach and float over to other rocks. So you'll need to be diligent in removing it if you see it somewhere you don't want it to spread. And it's pretty slippery, so pulling it off the rock work can be like trying to pick up a bar of soap in a bath full of oil while wearing gloves made of butter. I used to use a pair of pliers to remove the stuff, although that can damage the coral, so it should probably be your last resort. If you can isolate Xenia on its own island and look out for bits breaking off and spreading, it will be an absolutely fantastic coral. It's a unique colour, sways like nothing else in the hobby, and is a perfect example of the fascinating animals you can keep in your very own saltwater aquarium. Now, while fast growing corals do sound like the best thing in the world, it can be a curse as well as a blessing, so make sure you think about how your tank's going to look if it gets overrun. Now it's not only soft corals that grow quickly, some SPS corals will also grow very quickly indeed. So next week I'm going to tell you what the fastest growing SPS corals are, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for that one. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. Until next time then, happy reefing.